Well, let's see what happens over on this thing over here, over there, over here. I uh, was, I've been all over the place, but uh, I, I did want to mention that uh, with this weird cancer treatment stuff, it, I say weird because last night, seriously, I got up thick bean. It was like two o'clock in the morning. I'm like, I'm thinking clear again. Wait, what happened? It's like, what's going on here? And it's just, I mean, I'm a little bit trepidatious still, but my brain seems to be coming back. It's like I'm able to not freak out a little bit more or a lot more. Um, and like just kind of my brain is coming back to more the way I'm used to thinking and not this weird, just strange stuff that I've been like literally fighting for like three days. So, um, yeah, and I, I don't know why I, I, I give I don't know if this has anything to do with it or uh, at all. But uh, uh, there's a song by Leonard Skinner called "Preacher's Daughter." I could never get the the groove to it, and I don't know why. And today, I just literally picked up the guitar and went. <laughs> The only problem here is I did pull the lyrics up because I knew that it need them. Ah, but the problem with this is, is I'm reading it from a computer and my computer is close to me. These are distance glasses. I need them for driving, seeing stuff like that. Um, so I picked the wrong glasses and I can't really see that because it's that much of a difference that, uh, well, sort of that much of a difference. It's just weird. So... I was just all excitable about that riff, man. And all it is is just an A and a D and a so. And then all the rest of the song really is is an E minor because it's a, a C is sugar daddy coming around the corner. just goes back into that riff. I love Leonard Skinner, sorry. Uh, but yeah, it, that, it's just a it's just a super cool riff. I always loved that that riff. I never knew about the the rest of the song, but the riff just to me was awesome and uh I just wanted to come out and say, hey, um, might be coming back a little bit in my brain. Maybe I can get to that guitar, or fix it up, and you know, shut off next week. Uh, that'd be awesome. I did get the parts. I told you I got four of them for like eight bucks. So, <laughs> and that, that's with the with the entire assembly. So I, you know, I was gonna just get the plate, but I got the uh, the jacks too. So. Figured I, I get the parts that match the parts. Um, and it was like eight bucks for four of them. I figure I'll use them at some point in time. And, and there are a couple of guitars that I have that I, I would like to black out because I, I just love that on guitars, that look. So <laughs> hope to get back to the modding stuff at some point in time. But I also, I've been scheduled out for chemo through September, man. So this is going to be an interesting, uh, interesting summer. Hope I can keep my, uh, oh man, I got to get my, I have to give, I have uh, tomato plants that I got to get down to my pea patch. It's only 10 bucks I paid for the pea patch, but it's still, all it's down there is garlic right now. So I want to get my, my big tomato plants down there, see if I can get a couple of tomatoes this year, you know, that would be cool. I got some stuff growing out back that's cool, but uh, the tomatoes, I have uh, um, cherry tomatoes out, out back for, uh, because they're supposed to be a little bit easier to grow with less sun. So, and that's what I get in the back. So, um, yeah, man. Anyways, I'm babbling again, I think. So I'm gonna, just going to end it there and say, you know, I got the commercial. Uh, I'm getting tired here. So if you could subscribe, that would be amazing. Uh, see, I can't talk now. Um, uh, but uh, always look up, man. He's there for you. Um, and I'll see you then. Peace.